What up guys, welcome to the channel. So if you've been trying to get your blue Yeti mic or any USB mic to sound just like this, well, this is gonna be your lucky day. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install this software called Voice Meter Banana on your system as well as getting the best options for your mic. But this is gonna be specifically right now for the blue Yeti microphone. Like I said, you're gonna be able to use this on any USB mic and you're gonna be able to use these options across all softwares within your computer like OBS Studios as well as Discord or Streamlabs OBS if you want to use this for either streaming, recording, or podcasting. So if you guys are new to the channels, please make sure you guys subscribe. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and I appreciate it for anyone to try to help. The first thing that you're going to want to do is getting the right options on your Blue Yeti mic, which is turning down your gain all the way to zero, as well as picking the right pickup patterns for your mic, which is gonna be cardioid. Once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and download Voice Meter Banana. So you're gonna wanna open your browser. You wanna go to voicemeterbanana.com. Once you're there, we're gonna click on the Banana tab, and you'll see the software exactly the one that we're going to be using right now. Then you want to go down to voice meter exe file. When you download this, you'll go ahead and install it and we'll pop open the software. So once you're in the software, the first thing is that I recommend you do is go down to system settings, prefer main sample rate. We're going to change it to 48. Remember this will change all your sample rates within the software. All right, then we're going to move on and picking our hardware output, which is going to be your a one. And you, I'm gonna pick MME. For me, I've always used MME. A lot of people like using WDM, but MME works fine just for me. I love the way my microphone sounds. So once you've done that, we're gonna move on to your input one, which is gonna be your hardware input one. You're gonna pick MME microphone Yeti. Down to the gate and comp section. So for my gate on my microphone is always set at three. My comp is always at zero, your fader gain is always at zero, and my B1 options is always checked every time. So you could go ahead and change this to your liking. You could customize this to your own preference, but that's up to you. This is how I always kept and used mine. It doesn't matter how big or how small the room is. As you see my background, I don't have pretty much anything back there. So now when it comes to this orange little box that you see here, this is going to be how high or how low your voice is, your voice pitch is going to sound. As you see, as I move this around, my voice keeps changing. But the sweet spot for me is going to be in between low to mid, right in between the line. Like that's always been my sweet spot. I love the way my voice sounds. So for this part, we're done using voice meter banana. Other than I always have the voice meter, meter banana running a startup on my computer, you're basically done here. So we're going to move on to the next important part, which is going to be your sound settings within your computer. So when you open up sound settings within your computer, you're going to have to choose your input device, which is going to be voice meter output. So voice meter output is the one filtering your blue Yeti through the software. So that way you hear your mic like this, whether you're streaming, or doing voiceovers or just doing a podcast. Next, we're going to move into sound control panel. So once we're in sound control panel, there's going to be two things that you want to want to do. We want to check the sound sample rate for both your blue Yeti as well as your voice meter output. As you see here, they're both moving up and down. So that means they're both in play as well as I always have my voice meter output as default device when it comes to this so that way my microphone is always being filtered through there and I'm getting the crisp sound that you hear right now. So we're going to want to go ahead and click your properties, go to advanced and make sure that your voice meter banana option output is always checked at two channel 16 bit 48,000 Hertz. Now we're going to do the same thing for your blue Yeti mic, go to properties and going to go down to advanced two channel 16 bit 48,000 Hertz for sample rate. All right, this, the other thing that you always want to check with your Blue Yeti mic is going to be your microphone levels, which is the volume on your microphone. Now, I've always kept it under 80 because I used to use it 100% and my mic would distort a lot. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. 
but I've always used it that way. So I've always kept it anywhere between 80 to 70 and right in between is the sweet spot for me, which is going to be 75. All right, now we're done with that section and we're going to move on to how to use this in OBS studios as well as discord. I'll be showing you both. So when you open up your OBS studios, you'll be able to see your mic aux on your audio mixer. And then you're going to want to click on the knob, click on properties and device is going to be voice meter output. So that is the way your, your Blue Yeti mic is being filtered through that software and you get this exact sound. All right, once we're done with that, we're going to go into Discord. So when we're in Discord, you're going to want to go into your user settings, go into your voice and video under app settings. Okay, when you get to voice settings for input device, you're going to want to pick again, voice meter output. And that's going to be as simple as that on all softwares that you're going to be using your mic in especially if you're using a USB mic, whether this is going to be the Blue Yeti or any other USB mic, you'll be able to use these options across your computer on, on any software you want. All right, guys, this is going to be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial, please make sure you guys like and comment below. Let me know what you guys think about it as well. Subscribe to the channel. We're trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And I'll check you guys on the next one.